Connor McDavid. He just played in his 600th NHL game recently with 903 career points and counting at the right page of 26. How high do you believe he can finish his career on the all-time points list? Oof. Tough 903 one. at 26 is insane to think about. I believe he turns 27 this month. I can't decide if I think he's going to be second or third, but I think both of those are well within his grasp. I agree. I'm not about to like try and do some kind of fucking equation to figure out like at what rate he's going to score and like where he might end up. But I have full confidence he'll be second or third by the end of his career, barring any crazy and injury. Basically, if you if you're not aware, what second or third means is clearing about 1,900 points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you look at the top three, Gretz, obviously, that'll not get touched. No, um, no one's Yogs, ever catching that. Yogs at second with 1921, Messier at third with 1887, and then Gordy Howe at fourth with 1850. I I cannot see a universe where he's not top five. Like, he's easily going to be top five. And if you disagree, right, like you can logic it out. Like, look at Crosby. He just surpassed Joe Thornton last night. He's 12th at 1540. If you get, you know, he has all the concussions and stuff. He probably has missed over 200 games in his career. But David doesn't have that. He's had one major injury his rookie season, and he missed half a year. I mean, he's he's easily going to go top five. And you're talking about a guy who's going to pass Joe Sakic, Mario Lemieux, Steve Eiserman, Ron Francis, and he's probably going to pass Sidney Crosby and Ovi. I mean, I, you know, probably. It's, what it, it's what it is. He's, Definitely in points. Yeah, he's he's unbelievable. Not goals, but yeah, points. Yeah. He's he's gonna go up there. So I don't know. It's uh pretty crazy to think about. You guys think top five for sure? Top five, I think, is a mortal lock. Like uh obviously there's a lot of, you know, intangibles there, health, you know, his continue at this rate kind of thing, but another pandemic. Yeah, the, honestly, another <laughs> lockout, another <Who> CBA <laughs> debacle. Yeah, but like who knows what could happen. But yeah, um, barring anything crazy like that, there's no reason he shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, you know, getting shipped to Arizona, you know. Oh, there was a he did his post game presser after their their win and I didn't watch it, but I saw people commenting on it like, "Oh my god, he's so leaving Edmonton in 2 years." And I was just like, I w- I was at work, so it's like I can't listen to this, but man, I want to hear what he had to say. Just, but that's making people freak out. <laughs> um, just to kind of put this in perspective, 26 years old, uh 600 NHL games, he already has more career points than some of the players I'm about to read off. Keep in mind, he's 26 years old. He's already got more career points than these guys. Jonathan Taves, Peter Forsberg, Ilya Kovalchuk, Zach Parise, Eric Lindros, Corey Perry, Brad Marchand, Tony Amani. I mean, some insane names. Like when I, I think we all said when we heard Taves, it's like you think of Taves being in the league forever. And McDavid's already like passed him just to, you know, eight years in. Yeah, that's absolutely absurd. There's some some serious names that could really dish the puck and put the puck in the net on that list. And I mean, he he's just a, a different kind of animal. Mm-hmm.